Welcome to my channel. My name is Emmanuel Sibren from Titan Consulting. In this video, I want to share with you some tips on how to be a successful cybersecurity professional. A lot of people have been asking me, how do I maintain success in this chosen career of cybersecurity? How do I attain success? How do I reach that pinnacle of, you know, this cybersecurity career? That is what is prompting me to doing this video. So I have five tips I'll be sharing with you on how to be a successful cybersecurity professional. But before I start sharing you those tips, please and please uh, subscribe to my channel, like this video, turn on your notification button, share this video. That way it will encourage me more to bring out new content on my channel. Thank you. So let's get started on sharing the tips on how to be a successful cybersecurity professional. Tip number one, you must have a good network base. When I mean network, you must have a collaboration with most people in IT, such as cybersecurity engineers, such as um, network engineers, DevOps, uh, database engineers, um, even ISSOs, assessors, you must have them in your network base so that you can leverage on their expertise, on their experiences, on their exposure. You can leverage on their, you know, on their, on their industry that they also belong to. Some of them might be in health sector, in financial sector. You can leverage their experience. So that is why to be successful as a cyber security professional, you must have this robust network base. Please look for good networks where you can that you can join that has the opportunity of leveraging the experience of an IT other IT professionals. Tip number two is you must have a good on-the-job support system. This means that you must have one or two people that you can consult on a one-on-one -on -one basis when it comes to some difficult task on your job. Those that you can run to, those that you can call, those that you can reach out to and they will have one-on-one -on -one consultation with you regarding some of your challenges or difficult tasks you are given on the job. It is good for you to have them that will help you become successful as a cyber security professional. And most times, some of this consultation or support system will entail you paying for those consultations. Everything is not free. So for you to be successful as a cyber security professional, you must have a very good on the job technical support system. Tip number three is you must Embrace advanced learning. Add to your certifications. Add to the trainings you've already gotten. Attend cybersecurity conferences. These are some of the ways that you can be successful as a cybersecurity you know, professional. Do not rest on your OAS. Don't say, oh yes, I've done, you know, I have just two certifications, I think I'm okay. No, it's not okay. Add to your certifications attend more conferences, attend more trainings, go uh, search on Google, search on YouTube, add more trainings to what you have already got in YouTube and Google, they are very good resource that you can always leverage on. So that's tip number three on how to be successful as a cyber security professional. Tip number four of how to be successful as a cyber security professional is you must have a career strategy or you must have an exit strategy. What do I mean by career strategy? You must take responsibility for your career. You must know how long you're going to be staying on that job. You must know how far you want to stay on in, with that organization. If you plan to stay with that one single organization for five years, six years, seven years, ten years, so what do you want to come out with? How far do you want to go? Do you want to be a manager, senior manager, 
a tech lead or a vice president or senior vice president or assistant manager, you must have a strategy. Don't just stay in that organization for five years on the same spot. No. And also, if you are a cybersecurity contractor, you must have an exit strategy. Why wait until one month to the end of the contract before you start searching for another job? No, you shouldn't do that. You must have an exit strategy. And again, you must realize that if you plan to stay in one organization for five years, six years, seven years, 10 years, you must know how to play politics. Yes, you must have some people skills. And again, you must be in the good books of your supervisor, of your managers. Because if you are not in the good books of your supervisor or manager, some of them, they may not promote you. So which means your career is in the hand of one or two people. And also, you must also make sure that you are professional. You are good in what you do. That way, even if you're not in the good books of your managers, at least your work product will speak for you. So you must have a career strategy. You must have an exit strategy. Do not let any organization, any manager or supervisor dictate or run your career for you. No, that will be a disaster. So have a career strategy, have an exit strategy. And then, number five tip on how to be successful as a cybersecurity professional is do not burn bridges. No matter how intense your relationship with your managers might be, no matter, no matter how, you know, um, you know, how intense or how unfavorable your relationship with your supervisor or your colleagues might be, don't burn bridges. If you must leave, if you must part, part peacefully. Give them two weeks notification so that they'll be able to have a transition of your task, of your role, of your job to someone else. Don't just say, oh, today is my last day. Don't do that. Where are you going? They might demand for previous employment verification and they will reach back to them. So what kind of you know, verification or reference do you want them to give you? So do not burn your bridges. Do not leave them in limbo. So make sure you have a cordial relationship. Be professional in your relationship wherever you're working. You are not going, you are not on that job to make friends. You are there to do your job professionally. Do your job professionally and then be a good team player so that when you are parting ways, you are parting mutually and then you are parting peacefully. So these are my tips on how to be successful as a cybersecurity professional. If this video has been helpful, useful, interesting, please and please like this video, share this video, subscribe to my channel, turn on your notification button. And if you have additional tips, please, I would like to hear from you. Drop them in the comment section and I will definitely respond back to you. Thank you very much.